global warming is one of the most serious environmental concerns. Ampliogenic greenhouse gas contributed to global warming and future climate change. Therefore, an accumulation of greenhouse gas conservation data using various observation methods is essential for understanding variation and source and sink of the greenhouse gas in global and regional scale. As one of the observation methods, global satellite-based observation have started. In particular, Japanese GOSAT, greenhouse gas observation satellite and US OCO2 are in operation. Project of GOSAT is Japanese joint effort between JAXA, NIS, and Ministry of Environment Japan. GOSAT equates the same spectroscopic instrument as that in total campaign. Furthermore, it is known that more than half of the amplified greenhouse emission is from megacity region. But the emission in their region is not really understood. Thus, ground-based measurement is required. Recently, observation methods of greenhouse gas using portable FTS Fourier transformator has been greatly developed, and ground-based measurement using FTS has begun. FTS also called FTIR and FTNIR. Causeway Institute of Technology, KIT, developed the measurement method using a portable FTS and tried to detect the emission from megacities such as Berlin, Germany, and Paris, France. Then we started the Tokyo campaign. Because of the population in Tokyo area is larger than Berlin and Paris. This campaign has been carried out a joint effort among KIT, JAXA, NICE in cooperation with Saitan University and the Sodera City government. We are measuring directly solar light spectra absorbed by atmospheric greenhouse gases. From these spectra, we retrieve precise greenhouse gases from average concentration. In this measurement, we are using the portable FTS, EM37. In addition, we use meteorological station to take meteorological data such as pressure, temperature, and humidity. We also use whole sky view camera to take sky condition. We installed these instruments at three sites around Tokyo. It is important to take spectra absorbed by greenhouse gases with high precision. There are various spectroscopic methods. Among of them, FTS has an advantage in the measurement with very wide spectral coverage and high precision at once. Recently, such small FTS has developed to take high precise solar spectra. This method has been established by efforts of scientists in KIT and TCOM partners. In order to analyze the different signal between the stations, first we have to make sure that the instruments give comparable results when put next to each other. First, we made side-by-side -side measurements at Nice for two weeks um, prior to the campaign. And after these measurements, we installed the different uh, spectrometers at the uh, three measurement sites, Saitama University, Sodegaula, and here. And then, when we were finished with the campaign after six weeks, we once more came back uh, to Nice to make side-by-side -side measurements to check if there was something wrong with the spectrometers or if everything was fine. And so this is our instrument, that's the EM27. Um, that's the sun tracker. The sun tracker leads the solar beam inside of the spectrometer. And during the day, it follows automatically the movement of the sun. As we need the sun uh, for our measurements, we can only take uh, spectra on sunny days. Inside the spectrometer, the near-infrared part of the, of the spectrum is analyzed to deduce amounts of CO2 and methane in the atmosphere. The resolution of the spectrometer is 0.5 wave numbers, 
and one scan takes approximately six seconds. Our campaign is only ending and the detailed analysis will take time. However, preliminary results clearly show a different signal between the different measurement sites. So, we are confident to deduce the emission strength of Tokyo in the end. For the solar analysis, we will compare our data with regional models using meteorological data. Doing so will also uh, enable us to compare our top-down approach to inventory-based emission estimations. Furthermore, we will use our results for the validation of existing satellites, such as GOSAT or OCO2. To sum up, our results will help to clarify the greenhouse gas emissions of megacities.